Good evening. Welcome to Kayaking for Autism's channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you my mold making capabilities. First have a look at these. This is 12 kilos of ABS material, much cheaper than your habit of haberdashery um, ABS printer filament. This is what I'm going to be melting them in, a stainless steel tin. This is the material I'm going to be using to mould it. This is Platinum Cure. This is a mould making material, quite expensive because platinum is the catalyst and it can withstand high temperatures. This is the mould I'm going to be making gears with. These are the proofs or concepts. This was the original 3D printed gear. This was the wax replica. As you see, the gears do mesh and they all link up nicely. This is the pinion gear. This is another pinion gear. This is a steel gear of different mods. You cannot mesh them with the other gears, but this was just for use for proof of concept to see that the solar reflector project would work. This is the electromagnetic bearing, which I'm using to, uh, well, it's come apart, but... I don't, there we go. So that it's a frictionless bearing, basically, so that when you're driving this <coughs> steam turbine, there's no friction when it spins around at thousands of revolutions per minute from the steam you generate from... Ta da Concentrated solar energy. Here is a proof of concept of one of the gearboxes. Have a look inside of that. You need to give them this angle, can you see? Low, low down, low. Okay, inside here we have a stepper motor, a big steel gear, and some bearings either side that I made myself. And this table here would move the other gearbox that would in turn move this up and down. However, I'm having to do a slight mid-project redesign because I'm going to be using these gears with bigger traction as I can't afford to make my own steel gears, it's just too much temperature. I've been trying with microwaves for ages, I'm now biting the bullet, and look, I'm going to see how I go with making ABS gears on a production scale and see if they've got the strength required to move the giant sky dishes. <coughs> Have a look at the sky dish again. If I can get a hundred of these sky dishes to concentrate enough solar energy, it's possible to do an open source ecological project where you could turn desert into grassland very easily, very cheaply, infinitely renewably. As long as you have this to produce enough salt water to fresh water, and then fresh water to um, steam, which drives the turbine around, and then after you've driven the turbine around, it drives the electromagnetic bearing around, and then the car alternator, which is placed here. I will show you the car alternator. And then when you've got this concentration, enough solar energy, it could theoretically generate up to 700 watts, but you would need a bigger dish. I fear that with this current setup would only make maybe 200 to 300 watts. This is what I'm hoping to get. But basically, this has to drive around at 2,000 revolutions per minute, and you can only get up to 2,000 RPM without having to mess around with any wires or any insulation using step-up gearboxes. So if this is doing 1 RPM, this one will be doing 10 RPM, this one will be doing 100 RPM, you see what I mean? And maybe you need a fourth gear so that it can really step it up to make it go whee! But the only way this can withstand going around really fast is with the electromagnetic bearing, because there's no friction. This one. Admittedly it's out of alignment, I don't care at the moment, but when it is working and I've got more neodymium magnets that I care to afford, because they're expensive, but I've proved it'll work, this thing can do 2000 RPM and you can make clean, renewable electrical energy for nothing. Why do we need nuclear and coal and oil and gas and stuff? I don't know. There's enough resources for everybody, but I'm just trying to show people that there is a way and you can really make yourself self-sufficient. Thank you.